previously on Mike and Jerry. That's your shit. Alright, well, how about, um, I have this Ernest collection. That's a three pack. It's a three pack. You want to watch three movies? Ernest goes to camp, Ernest goes to two, Ernest goes to jail. That is high. Last movie in the pack. I've had a little history with this one. What is it? Oh, man. <laughs> Until she meets the mysterious and handsome Edward Cullen, a boy who's hiding a dark secret. He's a vampire. As and, um, I want to wrap this up. I'm parched. <laughs> Twilight. So, Jacob, I mean, um, oh, we didn't even talk about Jacob. He's God damn, he's, he's a Native Indian. American, uh, uh, crab walker, what the fuck. He's a Native American werewolf. Lycanthrope. <laughs> Native American werewolf in London. <laughs> and, um, they have a history with vampires, they hate them, blah, blah, blah. They're friends with Bella's family, blah, 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 blah. Subplot. Well, if you want to get into it, all that most of this is a rip off of Vampire: The Masquerade, a pen and paper RPG. But really? I'm not, I'm not going to really get into that because people don't need to know the depths of my darkness. So, uh, what the fuck is that dude's name? James. The tracker. Yeah, he. Um, He's a fucking tracker. I guess trackers play games with other vampires. Like Tiddlywinks and Jacks, Hopscotch, Marbles. No, they try to fuck them over if they try to love humans. Is that what, isn't that what Maybe. they do? Maybe. I don't know. So, the whole rest of the movie is... I guess James was a bad guy, but it's not really clear why. Yeah. I don't know. He's That's a villain. Like, it could, you could make a movie about this, this girl who eats meat, right? No, it, the story is about a vegetarian that really wants to eat meat. And he befriends and falls in love with a pork chop. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then he meets this... Then there's this guy who fucking... He loves, he loves pork. pork chops. He loves them. And he's like, you're not going to be able to hide that from me, you fucking vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat your girlfriend. I'm going to eat your girlfriend. He's calling the pork chop on the phone, pretending he's got his mom. <laughs> Major spoiler, this movie fucking sucks. <laughs> um, but I am going to spoil something. It was a wonderful, happy ending. Because, um... They went to prom. <laughs> and all they was well. They went to prom together. They did. And they were crowned king and queen. And I cried. I cried. And they had some... Oh, dude... How about the seven and a half minute long credits? No, before we get into the length of the credits, I just want to talk about uh, how if Edward Cullen was just a normal human being, like it seemed to me that the whole appeal to him is that, oh, I can barely, I can barely control my bloodlust. If I give in to my lust, I'll never be able to stop it. I'll just kill you with my vampire lust. Ah! So then like, all right, so imagine Edward Cullen's a normal guy and it's like he's a rapist. I, mean, I gotta keep myself right on the verge of raping you, because if I succumb to my rapist lust, I'll just won't stop raping. And then, so, that would make... That would make Jason this guy who just rapes. But he makes a game out of it. So he's taunting this other rapist who has... James? You mean James? You said Jason. Oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? I mean, I don't give a fuck about any of these characters. I think. Are we done? Can we... No, talk about the credits and then we can be done. All right, so we we watched quite a bit of this movie. We watched. We were fifty two minutes in. We found out when we hit the info info button to think how much longer this shit is gonna go on. And it turns out we had an, an hour, hour and five minutes. I uh, know one hundred and five minutes. What yeah. was an hour and five minutes? Maybe one hundred and five. Too many. And five minutes. Too many is the answer. Too many minutes. And then towards the end, we hit it again, and it was eleven minutes. And we're like, oh, God, they're at the prom, 11 minutes. How long is this shit going to last? Well, it lasted for another two minutes because, well, no, that's not good math. <laughs> but anyway, regardless, seven and a half minutes was credits. And we sat through them all thinking, well, I thought that it was going to be like a Marvel movie. And I didn't want to watch it. You didn't? I told you not to go this way. 
So all that talking really made me thirsty. Let's fucking have that. No, let's switch. talk about this first. What, what, what? It says the drink of industry on it. Oh, what I was saying was Ryan McDermott. He's giving us movies to watch, like. Uh, well, I'll suck. <laughs> uh, Ginger Dead Man. He's giving us that movie to watch. That was good. The drink of industry, Squinchers. He said it was like Gatorade. It's lemon lime or lemonade flavored. It's manufactured by an affiliate of Cold Cadbury Schweppes Bottling Group. Jerry, you want to read the back of the DVD case? Sure. Squincher is a great tasting, scientifically formulated electrolyte replacement drink designed to rehydrate, restore, and recharge the body, both before and after you dehydration occurs, to keep you at your peak performance, whether you're out on the field, in the backyard, or sweating out in the workplace. When you're working hard, you need a drink that works even harder. Squincher. It keeps working muscles working. Do 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 do. It's everything on it. It's in Spanish and English. Oh shit. Even the Spanish can enjoy this. Filtered water, high fructose corn syrup, invert sugar, dextrose, citric acid, salt, <laughs> potassium <laughs> citrate, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate as preservatives. Sodium citrate, gum arabic, natural and artificial flavors, potassium phosphate. Sodium phosphate, glycerol ester of wood, rosin. Well, you're really reviewing the shit out of it. vegetable oil, <laughs> calcium phosphate, Jesus yellow Christ, five. Dude. Yeah, and yeah, and just tell us all the ingredients. Oh, great. Yeah, it's got 9% of my Just turn it, right it off. I would just turn it off by now. It's neck attack. If I was watching this movie, I, I'd be reviewing. If it's a movie now, we're on Hollywood. Let's drink some fucking squincher. <laughs> smell it first. That doesn't smell bad. It smells like lemonade. It's not actually bad. Yeah, but what about the little bit at the end? It like, has no taste. It's, it feels gritty. <laughs> like, do you get that? Do you feel gritty? No, maybe you got a clam in yours. Nah, I might shit blood. If I shit blood, I'm going to shit it on the floor. It does kind of taste gritty. I don't like it. Like, I would never drink it again. It's not bad. It's better than H2O Hydrate. It's kind of, I find it vaguely refreshing. Squinchers, not bad. Squinchers, beverage of industry. <laughs> bam, bam. The activity drink, Squincher. So, if anyone at Squinchers wants to sponsor us, we would wear No, Squincher I want shirts. that Cold Steel. I want Cold Steel to sponsor us. Oh, okay. we can't do sponsors? Oh, it's all sponsors. I'll wear a Squincher shirt. You can wear um, the Steel thing. We're reaching out to you, Cold Steel. Oh, the sword company? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is not. This is actually. This turned out to be good review. Yeah. We're being refreshed. We're not talking about Twilight anymore. Yeah, that's great. We're not even watching it anymore. No. We're done. I feel like we should have that, that legacy's done. There's five more days till the end of the world. You know what, man? I'm really proud of you. I finished what I started. You made it through Twilight. I did it. I did it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I did thank it. you and your country. I did it for you, the people. And you assholes don't even appreciate it. No. You have a golden god here, and you don't appreciate it. It's real shame. Real shame. I have an H2 hydrate in there if you want to try it. No, I'd rather... Uh, you don't want grape flavor? I'd rather fill up a bucket with sand and fuck it until my dick falls off. <laughs> you want to watch it again? Nobody does it like squinchers. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you want a spoon? <laughs> for what? I'll we watch Twilight. Well, for what? Oh, it's a spoon? Yeah, well, spoon. You want to make it like a romantic night? We'll get. Yeah, I think so. We'll, like wine. We'll get. Yeah, we'll get some red wine and some uh, big, big old thing of chow mein. I'm gonna jog for like three hours, and then I'm gonna get edible panties, and then you know what to do. I'm gonna layer. <laughs> I'm gonna layer sardines in my butt crack. That's and all that we just said is much more appealing than Twilight. Mike's sweaty balls encased in fruit roll up. Yep, and my butt crack sardines. <laughs> But Crack Santa, he got dead pretty quick. Yeah, he did. Uh. What do you think, Lenny? What does it smell like? It actually smells kind of good. Yeah, I, I drank... Uh, it smells like 